In this brief video, we're going to do a paired t-test. So the data set that I have for this one are a collection of books, um, both sold at the UCLA bookstore and on Amazon. So in columns D and E, you'll see the prices for each of these books. And these are for a particular course at UCLA with the course number, the ISBN number, all of those sorts of things. So if you wanted to look up the actual book, they're all here. And there are, which looks, looks like 73 of them here. Now this is only a sample of the books that are chosen from the UCLA bookstore. This is not the entire population. But what we're really interested in is, is UCLA overcharging compared to Amazon or undercharging compared to Amazon? And we know that we should be doing a paired t-test because, one, we're going to be looking at the average, therefore we should be doing t, and two, for every measurement for UCLA, there is a matching measurement for Amazon, and vice versa. These are inherently paired. So we're going to use the data analysis tool pack to do that. I assume you found the data analysis tool pack on your uh, computer. Here we go. Uh, go to data and then, oops, go to data and data analysis. Pick t-test paired to sample for means. So we are going to be looking to see if the average price from Amazon is significantly different from the average price from UCLA. So I press OK. We've probably seen these sorts of things before if you've done the uh, toolbox before. So variable one range is the collection of prices for UCLA. Now I can shortcut this by saying, hey, that's just everything in column D, so long as I tell it the labels are also there, because there's nothing else in column D. If you don't want to use this shortcut, you can, of course, highlight. Variable two is everything in column E. And again, we have labels. And we hypothesize that the difference is zero. This is the null hypothesis. This is assuming that there is no difference between these two, even though if you've bought on Amazon, you probably think that there might be a difference. So let's put the output just somewhere on our, on our sheet. Doesn't really matter where it is. I'll just put it somewhere here. And OK. And we let it think for a second. Okay, here's our results of our t-test. Okay, so we expand everything out. Now, what do we see? The average for UCLA at first glance looks to be higher than the average for Amazon. But remember, this is just a sample. This does not mean overall the average is higher. That just means for our sample, this is what we found. Uh, there were 73 observations for both, obviously, because they were paired. And if we look at the two-tailed p-value, this is the probability of finding our sample, so in other words, our paired prices, assuming that the hypothesized difference was true. In other words, assuming that there was no true difference between UCLA Bookstore and Amazon, this is the probability of us finding our sample. Well, that is really, 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 really small. In other words, this is most likely not true because the probability of finding the sample that we found is absurdly small. Therefore, our conclusion is that this is likely not true. since the p-value is much less than 5%. Much, 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 much less. Okay, that was a paired t-test.